friends welcome to my channel today we are going to working on this beautiful kids waist um this has very nice uh, collar and nice sleeve and this is a very beautiful and unique pattern diamond stitch pattern this is a not a very tough this is a very easy pattern if you understand the concept and we are going to working from the bottom to top like this way okay so and you can use single color and this is a back side of the waist and this is the front side of the waist okay and you can join the two portion and then uh, this is a ba uh, back side right so this side you can um, wear it two way right so diamond stitch or double crochet side so you can wear it both the side sleeve also will comes it will come good so you can see here clearly so we'll start working on this waist okay for this project i'm using uh, this light blue color rayon from red hot super saver okay this is a very nice color and this is a four ply medium yarn okay you can use 5.5 mm or 5 mm hook this is 100 percent acrylic machine was and dry okay so this is a very nice soft and it will be very warm okay and then another color is craft smart yarn collar ombre color okay and this is also 100 percent acrylic and this is also machine was and dry and then another color it hot super saver yarn four ply yarn the same okay and the color is carefully color you can use the same combination or you can use a single color or you can use some other combination also but this combination looks good i, I am using h5 mm hook okay for this project and you you need to use any small size hook also i mean 3.75 or 4.5 okay and that is also you can take now we have to start making a slip knot like this you have to make a chain 94 okay and the initial chain should be multiples of 4 plus 3 okay so uh, 95 but now you are making 94 then you have to make the um, three more chains extra so uh, the for the diamond stitch pattern you have to make a chain multiples of four plus three so i i made 94 chains okay like this now you have to make a three more chains so 95 96 and 97 okay so skip first to three stitches and make a double crochet in the fourth stitch so in the 94th stitch you will get two double crochet right so 94 and 95 so totally you should get a 95 double crochet in this row continue making a double crochet in every chain till the end of this row make sure you should get 95 double crochet if you are making a best for small size or big size the chain should be multiples of 4 plus 3 okay so you have to continue like this So continue making double crochet like this till the end of this row okay so i have completed totally i got 95 double crochets now chain one two three so chain three and turn your work in the next stitch make a front post double crochet so you have to make a front post double crochet and back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet till the end of this row okay so that is the pattern of this row so front post double crochet like this and then back post double crochet in the next double crochet like this and then front post double crochet in the next stitch
okay see here front post back post front post and then back post double crochet in the next then front post double crochet so repeat the same pattern till the end of this row so you just proceed with the same pattern front post back post front post back post till the end of this row here okay so i have completed the row see from next to row onwards you have to start working on the pattern so this is the last double crochet make sure you will get 95 double crochets in every rows I mean 95 front post back post in every rows uh, that you have to count every time okay so this is the last double crochet so from next row onwards we will work on the pattern and we will count as row one and row two this leave this two rows okay so now i am going to change the color of the yarn if you want you can work with the same color now chain one turn your work in this row you have to make a single crochet in every stitch so single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in every stitch okay so you should get 95 single crochet at the end of this row so continue making a single crochet don't skip any stitches and don't make two stitches in two single crochets in one stitch okay that you make sure every time then only the diamond will come properly so you just continue like this single crochet single crochet single crochet see here till the end of this row okay so i have completed the single crochet now make a single crochet in the last stitch to finish this round so i have got a 95 single crochets now row 2 make a chain 3 turn your work then double crochet in this row you have to work on double crochet in every stitch so double crochet in the next stitch like this so you have to make a double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row and please please make sure you should get 95 double crochets okay this whole waist you have to follow the same point like the chain should be multiples of 4 plus 3 so you just repeat the same pattern double crochet double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row see here so row 2 should be a double crochet row okay so I just continue till the end so I have completed row 2 okay so this is the last double crochet now chain 1 turn your work first we have to start with the single crochet in 3 stitches so single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in next two stitch so one second single crochet and this is the third single crochet so see clearly and this is this should be a pattern okay so you have to make a front post triple crochet in the row one second single crochet okay so that you should note down and without complete it make again front post triple crochet skip three stitches I mean three is previous first row single crochet stitches three stitches you have to skip and then you have to work on a front post a triple crochet together in the fourth stitch so this is the pattern and this is a very very easy if you understand the concept so you have to work on front post triple crochet in the row one single crochet okay in the second single crochet and sixth single crochet so these two single front post you have to skip three uh, in between three stitches you have to skip and next you have to skip one stitch and then you have to make a single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next two stitch so you have to make a single crochet in three stitches 
this is the pattern see uh, we have to start from single crochet in three stitches and then front post double crochet together again single crochet in three stitches now make a front post triple crochet without complete okay in the previous front post like this and then again front post triple crochet skip three stitches you have to work on row one single crochets okay you have to skip a three stitches and make a front post triple crochet in the fourth stitch together okay then skip one stitch and that you make sure so skip one stitch make a single crochet in next three stitches one two and three okay so you, we have to start from three single crochets skip one three single crochet skip one three that skipping stitches you have to make a front post triple crochet together okay in the row one single crochet that you make sure okay now we are going to make a front post triple crochet in the previous triple crochet like this then without completing it then make a front post triple crochet skip three stitches in the fourth stitch make a front post together like this then skip one stitch back side one stitch and then make a single crochet in the three stitches okay actually every time if you get any mistake or anything means if you um, skipping two stitches back side right so that then it, it will go wrong so that you make sure every time now make a front post triple crochet the previous triple crochets like this then again front post triple crochet by skipping three stitches that's it okay then skip one stitch one skip one double crochet stitch make a single crochet in the three stitches like this you have to work on the same pattern till the end of this row you will get the v-shape right so you just continue the same till then so i have completed now see here you should get 23 v-shape okay so you can count it and confirm you will get a 23 v-shape at the end of this row so this is the last v i am working on so make a front post triple crochet And then front post triple crochet skipping three stitches make a front post triple crochet and whenever you start a single crochet in the first three stitches right this row and finishing up with single crochet in the last three stitches that you make sure okay so you just skip one stitch make a single crochet in the three stitches that you ensure please ensure in every row whenever you start any stitches the same you have to finish it so now i am going to skip one stitch and make a single crochet in last three stitches to finish this row so we have completed row three so three rows we have completed now we have to start a fourth row fourth row is a very easy so it the sweater will go like this okay we have to start from here right so you have to continue upwards like this and you can see the um, pattern clearly right here so every time you have to count it so once you complete this you can count the v how many v you got so that it will come a perfect shape okay so now we have to start from next round so by making a chain three turn your work so this is the row four and this is a simple double crochet row so you have to um, do a double crochet the next stitch onwards so you have to make a double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row make sure you will get 95 double crochets so in the every time or at least a, after 10 rows you can count it and confirm so that you will not get uh, any mistakes so you just continue with the double crochet like this in every stitch till the end of this row continue by making double crochet till the end okay in every stitch so i have completed the double crochets now so this is the last double crochet make sure you should complete a double crochet in the last stitch okay like this so i have completed now row 5 started so chain 1 working on the pattern now and turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch like this 
this row you have to start with one single crochet okay and then make a front post triple crochet in the previous front post together so like this you have to insert a hook along with these two front post like this and then pull the yarn make a front post triple crochet should complete okay so that you have to start this row like this row 5 okay but row 3 is slightly different you have to start single crochet in three stitches now here one stitch and make stick up one stitch make a single crochet in the three stitches then you continue with the pattern okay then make a front post triple crochet in the next two triple crochet I mean before the previous front post triple crochet like this and then this is a front post triple crochet without complete it make again front post triple crochet in the previous row front post together okay like this insert a hook like this so this is the little uh, tough part of this pattern but this is a super easy if you understand the concept clearly okay so then skipping one stitch make a single crochet in the next three stitches so um, in the row three this this is the row five right so these two only repeated pattern of this row row three and row five this is a very um, main pattern of the diamond okay so you will got a diamond shape now now make a front post triple crochet in the previous but before front post together like this so uh, row 3 and row 5 is a very important of this pattern so you have to repeat this row 3 and row 5 pattern till the whole vest okay so and then you have to come uh, make a front post triple crochet like this then post triple crochet together okay so you have got a nice diamond pattern right so skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches if you did any mistake you will go not get a proper diamond shape okay that's it see here so you have got a diamond shape starting with one single crochet and then diamond shape you have to proceed with the same pattern like this row 3 and row 5 okay so me middle pattern or double crochet that you just leave it but this is if you get a proper diamond you should follow the careful pattern okay so you just continue like this make a front post triple crochet in the previous front post without complete it and then front post triple crochet in the previous next front post together like this and then pull the all through the yarn then skip one stitch make a single crochet in next three stitches one two and three then make a front post triple crochet so you have to repeat the same pattern till the end of this row So you just continue with the same pattern okay you have got this four diamonds right so you have to continue the same pattern till the end of this row okay now you will get 22 diamonds and two half this side half right first and then in the last side also one half so you skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches and you should finish with one single crochet at the end so I told right so whatever you starting you have started with one single crochet so you should finish with one single crochet so make a front post triple crochet in the last one you should complete it okay this is a half um, diamond and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in the last stitch that's it so row 5 completed now chain 3 and turn your work this is row 6 so this row you no need to worry you just working on the double crochet in every stitches so in the next stitch make a double crochet and then 
next stitch so you have to continue making a double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row make sure you should get 95 double crochets just repeat the same pattern double crochet in every stitches So continue making double crochet in every stitches like this till the end of this row okay so i have completed now i am going to finish it off this round by making a double crochet in the last stitch okay now chain one turn your work this is row seven okay make a single crochet in three stitches so single crochet in one stitch and then single crochet in next two stitches so we have to work on i mean similar this row is similar to row three so you have to work on the same pattern whatever you followed in the row 3 now make a front post triple crochet in the previous front post without complete it so the row 3 and row 7 should similar and then row 5 row 9 should similar okay so the pattern will go like this now make a front post triple crochet together like this so you have got a nice diamond shape right and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so the same pattern whatever you followed in the row three the complete pattern you have to work on this row. three stitches right so now make a front post triple crochet in the previous front post like this without complete it and then make a front post triple crochet in the next together like this okay then skip one stitch make a single crochet in next three stitches i think you have understand the concept now right you have to repeat row three row four row five row six this four you have to repeat the whole vest okay then make a front post triple crochet together like this you have to repeat the same pattern till the end of this row So you have got a nice diamond shape you can see right clearly and you understand now we have followed the same pattern for row 3 and row 7 okay I've started with three single crochet started with a three single crochet and then next started with two single crochet so you just repeat the same pattern this row till the end okay three single crochet two front posts like this so I have completed now I am going to make a single crochet in the last three stitches. So one, two, and three. Okay. Row seven we have completed. Row eight should be double crochet row, and row nine should be row five. So row nine and row five should similar okay and then row 11 and row 3 should be similar so like this you have to continue so this time you have started three single crochet right end up with say three single crochet right so next double crochet and then next row you have to start with one single crochet and end up with one single crochet so that you make sure and then three and then two so you just continue and repeat the same pattern for 25 rows you have to complete okay from row 8 to 25 rows you just proceed the same pattern so i have completed 25 rows now so i have got six diamonds okay so i just uh, counting the diamonds for you so one two three four five six okay till this uh, portion you just stop this after that we will work on the chest portion okay so this is the body so we are going to complete this row the 25th row okay excluding la first two rows i mean that front post double crochet ribbing part is that you just leave it we are i have just counted from single crochet row only pattern rows okay blue color now last front post triple crochet and make skip one stitch make a single crochet in the last stitch okay so we have completed the body part 
chain 1 and then cut the yarn finish it off this round so totally 25 rows completed so we will start working on the chest portion front and i mean will right side and left side okay so we have started here and we have ended up with this now we have to make a marker okay 19th stitch i have made a marker see here after fourth diamond one two three fourth after this one stitch is there right so 19th stitch i have made a marker and then here also after fourth one two three four the next stitch so 19th stitch make a marker okay so you have to follow the same pattern whatever we followed in row 3 and row 5 right so the same pattern you have to follow here so we will start from here and then continue with the pattern okay totally 38 rows we need to complete so in that we have completed the 25 rows now right so now you just turn your work like this in the back side you have to work on the double crochet so every time you have to work double crochet row in the back side okay so just insert the hook in the marker stitch like this and then pull the yarn make a chain 3 so you should get a 19 double crochets okay so that 19 is also a multiples of 4 plus 3 so that's why i am clearly said like this pattern is multiples of 4 plus 3 so every time whenever you starting with the pattern you just follow the same okay so you just continue by making a double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row okay like this till the end so i have completed 19 double crochets now okay so this is the 19th double crochet and then from the next round was pattern would start so chain one turn your work so every time whenever start the pattern you will get you you have to start from three single crochet so make a single crochet in the same stitch okay this is the row 26 and then single crochet in next two stitches and you end up with the three single crochet okay so now making a front post triple crochet without complete in the previous front post like this and then again front post triple crochet in the next front post together like this okay and then finish it off front post double crochet together now skip one stitch make a single crochet in the next three stitches three okay and then make a front post triple crochet like this without completing front post triple crochet in the next front post together and post triple crochet together okay triple crochet together and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in the next three stitches so you have to repeat the same pattern till the end of this row Now skip one stitch make a single crochet in the last three stitches okay so you have started with three single crochets and you should end with three single crochets so one two and three okay so this is a 27th row right so 25 26 27 and then 28th row make a chain three 
turn your work double crochet in every stitch so double crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet in the next so you have to continue working on double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row so you will get 19 double crochets at the end continue till the end here so i have completed now i am going to make a double crochet in the last stitch now chain one turn your work single crochet same stitch so one single crochet starting with one single crochet okay now make a front post triple crochet complete and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so that row we have started single crochet in three stitches now single crochet in one stitch we have started okay alternatively now front post triple crochet in the previous front post together without complete it and then make again front post triple crochet in the next previous together and then front post triple crochet together now then skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so this row should end up with one single crochet okay so you have to uh, 26 27 28 29 repeat the pattern okay so you just continue front post triple crochet now so front post triple crochet together and then three single crochet front post triple crochet together three single crochet so I, you just proceed with the same pattern repeat 26 and 28th row okay so you just continue till the end of this row okay so i have completed i am going to finish it off this round by making a single crochet skipping one stitch and by making a single crochet in the last stitch like this okay now you have got a three diamonds right next double crochet row you just complete so i have completed the double crochet row now okay so next row make a chain one turn your work and make a single crochet in the same stitch so you have to start up with three single crochet now okay so three single crochet and then front post triple crochet so front post triple crochet together in the previous two front post like this and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in the three stitches so whatever we followed in the body portion same thing we have to follow here okay so three single crochet like this so then front post to triple crochet in the previous front post together so finish this row and you just complete and from row 132 to 38 the same pattern so i'll see after row 38 okay so i have completed 38 rows now see clearly okay so i have got a three diamonds i have just count the diamonds only okay see here one two three so three diamonds i have got and one double crochet row finished up with one double crochet row so okay so you have to complete row 38 rows like this okay so at the other side also you have to continue the same pattern now make a chain one and then cut the yarn finish it off this row so one side we have completed right so the other side we have to start working other side we have already marked the marker here so you just turn the back side we have to start working from back side okay double crochet and then follow the same pattern now we have to insert the hook here changing the color of the yarn and make a chain 3 and make a double crochet in every stitch so you will get 19 double crochets whatever we followed in that side same pattern we have follow here but just i am explaining you how to start the pattern just continue the double crochet in every stitch like this till the marker we should get a 19 double crochets both should be same okay left side and right side now finish it off with 19th double crochet like this and then we will start working on the pattern single chain one so starting we have to start with three single crochet right so single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in next to two stitches so three single crochet and then make a front post triple crochet in the previous front post together 
like this and then front post without complete and then make a front post triple crochet together okay then skip one stitch make a single crochet in next three stitches okay we have got a nice diamond okay now you just follow the same pattern till the end so friend post triple crochet together in the previous friend post like this and then skip one stitch make a single crochet in the next three stitches see continue till then so I have completed now I am going to make a skip one stitch make a single crochet in the three stitches so you should finish it up with three single crochet and the next row is a double crochet row so you just continue by making a double crochet in the next row and then repeat the same pattern and then we have to start one single crochet and then we have to start three single crochet or we'll follow the same pattern the other side we followed right so same pattern you have to follow here till row 38 so you have to complete 38 rows like the same okay so proceed with the same pattern then three single crochet for one single crochet that you make sure every time starting point so i have completed so the two sides i have completed so totally 38 rows i have completed three diamonds in right side and left side okay so back side i have marked a marker in 31 stitches so in the first stitch and 31th stitch i have marked a marker so in the center you can see clearly right here to here 31 stitches okay and then that marker to that front side 13 stitches will be there both left and right side okay so we have we will be starting so you just turn your work in the back side and remove the stitch marker and then start working from double crochet row so chain 3 making a double crochet in every stitch okay so back side no more confusion 31 stitches you have marked a marker so you have we will get 31 double crochet in this row so you just continue double crochet at the end of this row till next marker so i have completed now 31 double crochet this is a 31st double crochet i am going to make so after 31st 31 double crochets you will leave um, 13 stitches okay then chain one turn your work you just follow the same pattern single crochet in the three stitches so single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in next two stitches and then whatever we followed in the pattern right so row 3 row 5 so the same pattern you have to follow here so front post triple crochet in the previous front post and then again front post triple crochet like this skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so one two and three so that's it so this is the starting point okay back side you just you should leave 13 stitches in left side and right side for the sleeve portion okay so that you make sure and middle portion 31 stitches we are working okay then make a single crochet in three stitches and then front post triple crochet together like this and then front post triple crochet and skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so you just proceed with the same pattern till the end of this row okay after that next row is a double crochet row and the next row you have to start from one single crochet and end up with one single crochet so follow the same pattern so here starting with three single crochet so I end up with a three single crochet continue till the end of this row the same pattern and then double crochet row. I have completed double crochet row also. And next row, make chain one, single crochet, one single crochet. We have start up with one single crochet and then proceed with the pattern. So front post triple crochet. Skip here, one single crochet we have started, right? So previous row, three single crochet. This is a one single crochet we have started. Then front post triple crochet. And then skip one stitch make a three single crochets 
so same pattern we have followed from the starting point till here okay no need to change anything and then front post triple crochet together now then again front post triple crochet then skip one stitch make a single crochet in three stitches so you just continue with the same pattern till 38 rows okay then front post triple crochet then front post triple crochet together then single crochet this is a 29th row i think right so from 30 to 38 rows you just follow the same pattern you just finish this after that you have to come continue the same pattern till 38 rows okay so you have got a three diamonds whatever you got in different side so the same you have got here so you have to start up with one single crochet right so next you have to start up with three single crochet so three one so you just continue and repeat the same pattern like this till the end so now i have completed 38 rows in the back side see here no need to worry about the shape of the arm so we will see you later okay we will nice shape we'll get so for whatever we followed in the front side same we have got in the back side see and color combination also you just make sure if you use a double color so um, i am going to join with the slip stitch like this and this also you make sure no need to um, join all stitches okay you just uh, make a slip stitch like this in every stitch I, I, but make sure you just turn your work okay this you have to do in the back side not in the front side okay so you just proceed with the slip stitch or single crochet anything whatever you want if you want you can sew also okay but this is the perfect way to um, join them okay so you have to make for 12 stitches only so i have completed 12 and leave 7 stitches okay only 12 stitches you have to join and then leave the 7 stitches in the 19th 19 stitches is there right so in 19 stitches so i have completed 19 stitches joining part and leave the 7 that is the collar portion so that's why i am just leaving out so if you see the front side it will be like this okay so one side we have joined perfectly right so leave that portion for collar part so you just and then join the other side also like this same part same procedure whatever we followed that side right so the same procedure we have to follow here also slip stitch join with the slip stitch and make sure you should just turn your work this uh, you have to do joining in the back side so that you make sure you just join like this for 12 stitches very easy pattern okay and you can make adult um, vest also like the same format okay so you just make a slip stitch for 12 stitches like this and then join them okay if you have any doubt you just ask me in the comments i will definitely respond to you okay and i mentioned subtitles clearly for the every screen okay so that you will not get any doubt and you have to count it and uh, make sure every time you just count it the stitches and diamonds okay and then make a slip stitch for 12 stitches like this I think we have completed right so chain one so I've completed 12 um, stitches join so one seven 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 stitches I am just leaving okay now chain uh, you just cut the yarn chain one and cut the yarn tighten the yarn that's it so we have joined back side and front side now okay almost 75 percent we have completed okay see here we are perfectly we have joined and you just cut the yarn or the loose ends you can cut it now we will start working on the collar portion and then middle part very big part and everything okay see here clearly we have joined and we will working on the collar and that is also a very simple pattern now we have start diamond pattern is completed now we have just doing a ribbing in the 
collar portion middle portion and sleeve okay so insert the hook and pull the yarn any new color yarn you can use okay then make a chain chain 3 and make a double crochet in every stitches okay like this so in the collar portion alone you will get 25 double crochets okay i will show you clearly uh, all the collars so you just continue double crochet in every stitches like this till the collar ends okay So you will get 25 double crochet in the neck portion okay collar portion so i have completed now i've got a 25 double crochets okay from next on stitch onwards you have to make a double crochet in the every stitch and make sure you should make a double crochet in the stitch not in the space okay uh, otherwise it you will get a big hole so you just working on the stitches so in one stitch you will get a two double crochet so like that you have to make a double crochet in every stitch okay like this so in this stitch you have to make a one double crochet and then the stitch um, joining part is there right there you have to make a double crochet so one stitch will get a two double crochets so it will be perfect for the front part okay so like this you have to complete the double crochet so continue making a double crochet till the end here so i have completed the double crochet see you will not see any big holes or anything right so you will see clearly and then in the bottom part you have to make a back post double crochet in the back post stitch front post double crochet in the front post stitch so if you have to start ribbing okay in the bottom portion you will do a ripping and in the front portion you are going to make a double crochets okay so then front post double crochet and then back post double crochet front post double crochet in the next stitch back post double crochet in the next stitch so you have to follow the same pattern like this okay so you just proceed with the same pattern for only in the bottom okay continue by making front post back post front post back post like this till the end ribbing here okay after that you just continue with the double crochet row till the collar portion till here okay after that i will see you the pattern till here so i have completed now i'm going to make a, a slip stitch to finish this round okay now chain one make a front post double crochet in the same stitch so we will start working on the ribbing part and 
in this row i i'll tell you one thing actually if you are joining if you are going to make a button okay in this footer in the vest so you just put a hole in three if you attach three button means you have to create a hole in the three okay and then proceed with the pattern front post back post front post back post and then skip one stitch make a chain two and then again front post so you will get a nice hole okay that is a button hole then other side you can sew a button if you are using a small size button no need to create a button hole this hole is enough okay if you are going to sew a big button you have to create a hole so you just continue front post back post front post back post till the end of this row so you just continue till here if you are add one more ribbing row you can add otherwise you just continue till this end okay after that you just start from here and then end up with the collar okay no need to work on the ribbing part if you are okay with one more ribbing row you just proceed with the pattern so i have completed the ribbing okay i just completed till here and then finish it off this round and then just leave that ribbing part and then again started and then continue and then completed with it till collar okay you can also follow the same and then make a slip stitch in the first stitch to finish this row that's it okay so we have created a nice ribbing part in the collar as well as in the front side okay now we are going to do a again front post back post front post back post uh, you can do multiple times in the collar part okay now i am going to make one more row only in the collar okay front post and the next stitch make a back post double crochet only in the collar part in that sense 25 only in 25 double crochets you have to make a collar okay no need to work on the front portion so you just proceed with the front post back post front post back post till the other end of the collar part so you will get 25 stitches okay continue the same pattern till the end here till the collar end okay so once you complete i will see you so i have completed now i am going to finish it off the round by making a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish this round so chain one cut the yarn so nice collar we have made so we have completed i think 80 percent we have completed so see here it will be look like this it would be looking so uh, pretty okay see here this is the collar if you want you can add two to three more rows in the collar part also if you want a, um, a big ribbing okay but this is enough for the kids okay and then you can join the pattern also sleeve okay the sleeve part i have completed one side see here nice shape okay without increasing or decreasing we have just created a nice shape the main thing is sleeve portion only okay for the shape how this is a little trick i am explaining you how to get a uh, shape of the arm so we will start with the center second diamond we have we have to start from here okay so every time you have to start sleeve in the middle of the diamond okay second diamond so you just insert the hook here and then pull the yarn make a three chain three so this is a little different part okay you just uh, make a double crochet in the next stage if this brown colored stitches you have to make a double crochet decreases okay so in the next two stitches make a one double crochet together like insert the hook and pull the yarn without complete double crochet and just again insert the hook in the next stitch and then again pull through two yarn and then again pull through three yarn so double crochet together okay so this will give a nice shape of the sleeve and then in the next two stitches make a double crochet together another double crochet together okay so seven double crochet together you need to make so this is a third double crochet together okay so one two three and then again one more double crochet together this is the fourth double crochet together after that you just make a double crochet in every stitch only in the brown part okay underneath the sleeve so here only you have to make a decreases okay then this will create a, a very nice armhole of the sleeve okay of the vest you just make a double crochet in the every stitch in the on each stitch make a two double crochet okay whatever we followed in the middle so the same thing so you have to work on only in the stitch not in the space that you make sure you will get a 44 stitches totally including seven decreases okay so you will get 36 double crochets okay so only double crochets i'm pointing not including the decreases so 36 double crochets you will get once you finish this row so you just continue double crochets um till the end okay till the only blue portion so you just continue after that we'll do a decrease again so you just continue with the same 
okay till the end here till here you just make a 36 double crochets okay so i have completed now 36 double crochet plus four uh, double crochet together stitches okay decreases so totally 40 stitches we have completed so four more is there right so for that we are going to make a one double crochet together now okay this is a 41th stitch seven decreases right so this is a fifth decrease and this is a sixth decrease and then this is the last decrease seventh decrease okay so totally seven decreases and 35 double crochets okay so and then this is the last double crochet this is not a decrease this is a double crochet so totally 44 um, stitches you will get in this row now we are going to make a slip stitch in the to finish this round the slip stitch in the double crochet not in the third chain so that is a decrease so totally seven degrees now chain one you have to make a front post double crochet together the two twist double crochets together stitch okay so like that you have to make a front post double crochet together and then back post double crochet together in the previous uh, double crochet together stitch not a double crochet double crochet together stitch so in this row you will get 44 front post back post stitches okay totally 44 stitches you will get in this row so you are going to make a uh, front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet so this is the pattern of this row so again back post double crochet and then in the next stitch in the next double crochet make a front post double crochet like this and then in the next stitch you are going to make a back post double crochet and then in the next front post so you are going to continue the same pattern till the end of this row you should get a 44 uh, stitches okay so make sure you count it so that you will get a same sleeve both the side okay so that's what so you just continue and uh, proceed with the same pattern till the end of this row front post back post front post back post okay so like this you just continue till here so i have completed now I am going to make a front post double crochet, back post double crochet and then front post double crochet back post double crochet so you have to finish it finish it off this row you will get 44 double crochets I mean 44 front post back post now slip stitch to finish this round now you are going to change the size of the hook we have used to 5 mm hook right h now i am going to change a 3.75 mm hook any small size hook whatever you have i am using f size hook okay so that you will get a nice shape of the sleeve so um, you are going to make a chain one front post double crochet but pattern will not change pattern will be the same pattern front post back post front post back post but chain just we have to change the size of the hook that's it okay this vest will uh, suit for seven to eight years unisex kids okay girls or boys both can wear um, so five to seven years almost five, approximately five to seven years uh, kids can wear this vest okay so you just proceed with the same pattern front post back post front post back post so i have completed now we are going to finish it off this whole part of this now so slip stitch to finish this round chain one and then cut the yarn so we have completed fully if you want you can add the buttons after that okay so you, you will get a nice shape see here okay see here shape you can see right so this is the nice shape of the arm hook okay so nice collar and nice sleeve and nice ribbing pot you can add buttons also whatever you have okay whatever you want you can add so so very beautiful vest we've made so if you have any doubt you just mention in the comments please subscribe to my channel and support me thanks for watching my channel and uh, follow my facebook page creative crocheting thank you very much